Welcome back to subsistence. Okay, I a oh, little bit of a game glitch there. Um, I did have a midnight attack, but I don't know where it was, and um, I don't think it was here because I never heard anything attack this base. I think it was at the other base. I mean, there was no. I didn't hear footsteps. I mean, granted, it was dark, but no footsteps, no nothing, and so. Yeah, I, I think they're attacking my other base. So if we get over there and see damage in places where a bear wouldn't have attacked, which, honestly, there's only one place the bears attack, and it's where I draw them to. Um, so, I don't know. It's, that's something I want to check out. But while we're here, I also want to check and see how we're doing um, on power and mass. Okay, in power, we still need to get the power up. But uh, I think we can do another upgrade on this... On this okay let's let's switch <laughs> let's do this um, oh by the way look what I did on the revolver we've got a flashlight attachment on it now so that's great um, but yeah I want to do another upgrade on this and yeah I can do another firepower upgrade I just need rope ingots uh, electrical components and weapon parts so we're gonna do that uh, let's see rope ingots weapon parts and electrical. Oh, wrong one. Wait, where are my electrical parts? Oh, there they are. Don't have many. 24 electrical components is it. But it is enough to do the upgrade on firepower. So we're going to do that. So that's our second firepower upgrade. And didn't take much of our mass. So that's good. Uh, but yeah, is this thing off? It is off, right? Good. Okay, so we'll get that thing going, and I gotta stop looking in that wrong chest. We'll put 14. Wow, I need more electrical components. Lots more. And yeah, we're out of rope here now. I've got 30 sinew. 30? 39? I can't read those numbers, too small. Alright, but, and we've still got weapon parts, so, you know, it's it's all doable. Everything's, everything's good. Uh, but not on this side. We need to go over to the other base. But I've got a couple animals down below. We'll need to take those with us, I think, uh, if we're going to head over there. Uh, but I, <laughs> I don't know how long, long I'm going to stay over there. Maybe maybe these animals will be fine over here. Let's take a, a steak and eggs with us. We're going to eat a chicken right now. And, yeah, we'll just leave these guys running until they run out of juice. And then it'll be fine, the, and the power will generate up the rest of the way on its own, and that, that'll be fine also. So, all right, good, good, good. All right, so uh, we will lock the place up so the bad guys can't get in. And, you know, to hell with going down that weird twisty windy way. We'll just go around this way. Let's see if we see anybody out here by the pond. And I think I've only got two animals in here. And neither one is level 10. And they don't even need that steak and eggs. All they really need is a tomato. And they'll be just fine. You guys just hang in there. We'll be back. We'll be back. Alright. So, we'll cruise over to the other base and take a look around and see what damage may have been done to it. I mean, I could be mistaken. Uh, it could have been that they... I, okay, I'm not going to hunt the bunnies and stuff. It's, it's so hard for me not to do that. But, now I'm curious now, because I was I was under the impression, I think, uh, one of you guys, uh, Tennessee maybe, mentioned to me that um, the, the main BCU is where you get your attacks. And I, I, I was totally under that impression as well. So, um, if in fact there is damage done to the other base, we will know that despite the fact... You know what? You know what? Never mind. They must have been attacking that other base because I came out in this direction. I was looking for those guys at night. And I came out and I just kept coming in this direction. And Bear, are you going to come over here? Don't. Don't. Okay. You're just going to be a pain in my butt, aren't you? All right here do it like this then oh he got me uh, 
I was a little slow on the weapon switch. And now we're bleeding. But I don't care. I don't care. I'm tough. I can bleed for a while. Uh, no, see, uh, I do remember now. I Guys, forgive me. I play too many video games. And I switch around. I bounce around. do all kinds of stuff. And so... Um, and, by the way, I'm working on a new series right now. It's super cute. It's a different style of game, but I like it. It's it's funny and, and a little bit sexy and, and just very, very adorable. And um, So, I hope you guys will check that out. Uh, I'm not going to tell you anything else about it right now, other than um, I'll be uploading those videos uh, sometime pretty soon here. Um, but, anyway, uh, no, the... Um, I came out in this direction just looking around, you know, with the flashlight and stuff, and I ran across a hunter walking this direction, and I think I killed him right about here. And so he was walking from over... Good Lord, Wolf, leave me alone. He was walking from over in the direction of my other base. And there's no real reason for him to be out where I killed him. Like, not out here, you know? Um, because those other guys, the other hunter bases, they, they're so close to that other pond and stuff and, and to my other base, I don't really see a reason why they would be out here other than that they were attacking this base. So, that's another reason why I think that maybe they were. So, we'll find out. I just, I'm not going to pass up crates. But we've got some daylight. We can run around the base a little bit here and, and take a look at what kind of damage has potentially been done to it. There's probably going to be a bear hanging out over here. But, yeah, so, this stairway is damaged, this railing is damaged, this railing is damaged, I see a little damage on these things, and I have never fought a bear or anything in this area, and how about up here, yeah, and this piece is damaged, that's definitely not from a wolf guys or a, or a bear that the fact that that ceiling piece has damage on it and this wall piece above it is not damaged but and look at the damage on here too there's there's a significant amount of damage there and on this wall a little bit so yeah they came that dude came over here and and attacked this base they had that's it has to be it has to be that Nothing else could have done that damage. Because I've never fought rogues over here. I've never dragged a bear up to, that could attack the, the roof there. No. All the bears I've fought have been on the other side. Over here. See, because I drag them, if you've watched the other videos, I always drag them up to this doorway here. You know? Which, oh... Yeah, I just placed this door in recently, and I, I need to um, upgrade the... But, that now tells me I need to consider plating this whole base. Oh my god, what an undertaking that would be, right? Because I just don't have the kind of metal for that. I just don't have the iron for that. But, we've got a little bit of ore in our grasp here, and let's put that in there. And I guess I don't need to carry around this steak and eggs. Do I have room for it? I do. Good. Alright. And I don't have room for this other steak, though. It doesn't matter. We can actually, we can cook it. Let's just do that. Uh, what am I doing? Grab a couple of eggs. And that bear is making grumpy noises down there, and I don't like it. I'm going to have to put him down. I wonder how good my pistol will do against this bear now. Where are you? Grumpy bear. Alright, let's just get down on his level. I still haven't regained all my hit points, but don't care. Um, 
yeah, that did that did significant damage. I like it. All right. And I've got another steak to cook up. So we will do that. But I'm going to wash my hands. Let's go wash our hands. I'm really trying to remember to do that all the time. I now kind of have an idea of how long I can go without washing my hands if I'm running around, you know, gathering stuff or, um, you know, I'm well away from any water source. Um, I'll oftentimes go for quite a while without getting the infection that comes from it. You, you do have a, a significant amount of time to, to go without washing your hands before you actually get the infection, but better not to press the issue or just ignore it for too long and then risk forgetting about it. So that's how I look at it. But we're going to put away some of this stuff here. And I've got, a, yeah, I got 131. Oh, oh, oh. We need mass here for sure. So we need to turn that on. And since our power is already super high, um, if we just turn on our... Eh, not like we don't have a ton of this biofuel. We can just run these guys out. Let's turn it on. We just run these guys pretty much all the time. I mean, the fact that I have bears spawning here constantly means I have no problem getting as much fat as is needed to keep this place going. But why am I carrying that around? Oh, because it's from the other table, that's why. Okay. Forgot about that. Oh, some ore. We'll put that in there. So, yeah, when I, you know, I don't mind this, this place. We've got so much freaking power running all the time. And now the grow lights are off down below because I just don't care. We're not worried about those plants right now. Um, that I can just basically turn on the um, mass generator dealy, whatever it's called. I can never remember the mass fabricator. Uh, I can leave that running pretty much all the time. Um, and... Okay, here's the deal. If we look at our power and mass situation right now, we've got 3.3 coming in and only 3.75 going out. So I'm losing such little amounts of mass during the day or power during the day while I'm running that uh, mass fabricator. I can pretty much just not be that concerned about it, you know. I'll be out all day and come back and still have plenty of power remaining. That being said, I would like to add enough uh, solar panels that I could run that thing without having the generators running at all. But that's a lot, a lot of solar panels, man. That would be, I don't know, 10, 20 more? Who knows? A lot more. But... So now I, you, you'll notice I have left that place without uh, bothering to repair anything because although there was some damage, it was fairly minimal. I don't care about it. So if I'm gonna if I'm gonna waste my nails on it, I'll wait until it gets a little bit more damaged. You know, one more attack by the, even if they break something, it's not a big deal. I can repair it or replace it. I would like to find a moose, though. I haven't seen one in a while. So I think we're going to run around here. Look for rogues, maybe. I haven't been out in this. And the lock crate. Brilliant. See? See? I love you guys being with me. I haven't found lock crates for so long. And, you know, just starting the video and, and, and having you guys be with me, you're my good luck charm, guys. So thank you for that. That was very helpful. Alright, well, we saw the deer run up there. Hmm. I think I see... Nothing. Never mind.
There's often a bear around this area. Well, I'm not seeing one. I am seeing a crate over here, though. Oh, there's the bear. See? Yeah, he gets me... Well, I mean, he's kind of in my way when I come across my other bridge over there. You know, the, the, my other bridge that leads to that base is pretty much straight past that bear there. But we're not going to go past that bear. We're going to come over this direction. And look for moose or rogues. Okay, okay. Yeah, I heard that bear didn't have any idea where it was. Pretty much ran straight at it. Yeah, 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 I got you, bear. Get off my butt. We're on a moose hunt. I'm kind of surprised that I haven't had an attack yet. But, I don't know, maybe it has something to do with the fact that they attacked me in the middle of the night. Or something, and... So their attack cycle is going to be nighttime attacks or something. I, I hope that's not the case. Sorry, I had to mute you there and clear my throat. Hmm. Yeah, no luck on the... See, see a couple deer. Not real interested in the deer because... Oh, there was... There's the moose. That's what we're after. Yeah, the deer... The antlers aren't the thing for me right now. It's the... The sinew and this meat from the moose are more important. But there are lots of deer, as you can see. There's two deer and the moose over in this area. So, oh, got the headshot. Oh crap! Run, run, run! Ah! Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's angry. <laughs> this one angry moose. No, 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 no. Well, he's tenacious too. You. He didn't like that at all. And I'm sure he liked that one even less. Well, I think, you know, I kind of feel like I've done you guys a disservice uh, with the fact that I haven't let one of these moose kill me uh, while I'm recording. I just, I, sorry. <laughs> sorry. It's not my intention to deliberately die. Okay. If it happens, it happens. And it happens. But I'm not purposely setting out to have it happen. There you are. Hold still. Da! Oh, that's a crap shot. I don't care about the deer, though. We got the moose. We were after the moose. We got a lock crate. Maybe we'll find the rogues now. Another moose? Or is that a deer? It's a deer. I stink. Unbelievable. I can't hit them on the ground, but I can hit them when they're swimming real fast. What the hell? How did I even get that shot? That's ridiculous. How in the world did I make that shot? I don't know. This is destiny. I... I needed kelp, that's why. So it forced me to come out here. I don't really need any 
kelp, but what the hell, we're out here. Although, if I do see sandstone, I should probably grab it. No, that's not how you do that. That's just, This is how you do that. There we go. Okay, yeah, there is sandstone down there. This is deep, though. That's too deep. I'll start drowning when I do that. What's up on the shore? Oh, it's nothing. Well, our inventory is getting fairly full with the lock crate. It's a chicken. I wonder, can we catch that chicken? I rarely try this. But this area is a good area for it because... Oh, look, let's get that. This area is good for it because it's pretty wide open and I can see whether I'm going to run into a bear from a long way away. All right, chicken. It's easier if you're running downhill. Where, where'd he go? Come on, he's a little bit quick. You're not quick like a bunny, though. There we go. We got him. See, I can do it, guys. I can do it. It just takes me a lot more effort than probably just about anybody else. Uh, yeah, yeah, there's wolves. Oh, and I'm running low on stamina, too. But we're pretty close to our bridge. Which is good, because while most of it is made out of, uh, like, ceiling or, or floor tiles, um, part of it, on the ends at least, is uh, foundations. So it scares away the beasties. At least the wolves. Aha! I got another one. Amazing that. Oh, no, I didn't because I don't have room for it. All right, well, such is life. Let's eat some stuff. Let's eat that and that and that. So, yeah, I picked up the chicken and then couldn't even carry it. So, all right, and there's a wolf over there. To hell with that wolf. But, you know what? We're not going to stay at this base either. I think what I'll do is grab some, some food or something and turn off that uh, mass fabricator but I do want to see like if we were close on the mass we might hang out here longer well, there's a deer over there too you know yeah, maybe I will hang out here a little bit because I want to do upgrades that's the thing I want to do more weapon upgrades and this place is where I've got uh, more mass uh, see and this is this is badly damaged here too and I'm pretty sure that wasn't the, the result of a bear so all right we'll put this guy in here we can move him around later if we need to let's check our power and mass situation uh, we got 200 mass I don't have anything to grind well I do I mean I could grind up a bunch of this cloth and stuff if I wanted to um, maybe we'll do that Maybe we'll do that. I don't, I don't think I'm ever going to need that much cloth and, and those kind of things. Uh, what else do we need to put in here? Uh, sinew. There we go. And antlers. All right. Yeah, I got 102 sinew, 11 rope, so and 42 weapon parts. Um, I don't see that I have any ingots, though. Do I have ingots in here? I do not. So I'd have to make some ingots, which is going to take power and mass. And so we'll leave this running. I mean, look, our power is still over 2,600. And uh, if we were to... No, not, not in here. If we were to grind up... What does the cloth do for us? Only 100? That's not very much. I think it's better to use the sticks. But whatever, we've got now over 350 mass. So that's better. And we got a few electronics too. 
So, uh, well, you know what? Let's let's go ahead and see what we've got. I've got 31. Take that and that. And this and this. And so I know I'm going to need ingots. And uh, so to do an upgrade on this pistol again, another firepower upgrade on it. We've got the power and mass. I need... God, I can't even see that. Like five or six ingots something like that so let's make six ingots and there's six ingots there let's go up and put some meat away we left this in there too um, oh I'm gonna have to do some cooking because I can't fit this stuff in here uh, you know what? Um, we'll cook up. Yeah, let's do this. Let's go. One, two, one, two, one, two. And we will bake up the ribs. And then we'll just burn. Oh, see, I'm being attacked now. I'm being attacked, but not here. It's got to be the other base. Well, hell, um, let's go to the other base then. Just put this some of this stuff away. Go ahead and eat that. Break that. Yeah, all right, so back to the other base we go. Well, by the time we get there, it's the thing is going to be over with, but we'll leave that chicken. We'll be back here. Let's, let's head on. I have all my weapons, right? Yeah, good. Well, yeah, see, in these two bases, they're far enough apart that if I'm at either one of the bases, there's probably no chance in hell I'm going to make it back to the other, especially if I stop for freaking crates along the way, uh, and be able to actually intercept an attack, and I'm going to eat that, and we're going to eat two more of those, and we're going to keep running. Go, go, go. We'll make, oh, no, okay, see, i got to get this because there might be electronics in it and there is and we need those so let's go come on move move along I'm like half hoping I don't run into any more crates and then the other side of my brain says what are you an idiot of course you need those crates oh again but we don't need that wolf yeah 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 leave leave me alone wolf Man, I, I really want to drag a bear right onto some hunters sometime, and I haven't been able to su successfully do that. I've tried it, uh, but the bear just keeps following me for some reason, and then, you know, even when it lets off pursuit, uh, it doesn't turn on the hunters that are chasing me. So that's kind of weird, but... All right, so we're losing our light. I don't hear any gunshots or explosions or anything. So I don't know where these guys are now. They're gone. Right? They gotta be gone now. Yeah, that's, uh, you know, this situation now is like, uh, I need to be, uh, you know, playing multiplayer. Doing a co-op thing so we can actually cover both bases. Because as it stands, uh, there's no way I could get back and forth between them in time. All right, let's grab a tomato for these guys. All right, well... Hmm. They need water, too. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, let's, um... Let's just go ahead and head up, and we'll take care of some stuff. And it looks like tomorrow we'll be heading back to the other base. Oh, crap! 
I forgot about the food I'm cooking over there. I'm going to have to make a midnight run back over to that base if I'm going to get that food before it goes bad. I just wanted to see if I could get over here and get the... the okay, is that closed? It's a weird sound. Yeah, see if I could intercept these hunters, but apparently not. So, yeah, I'll probably just zip back over to the other base and see about the weapon upgrade. Oh, and I, I left that thing on too. So, all right, that's the plan. I'll do that middle of the night, head over there, and I will meet you guys on the other side next time. For now, thank you so much for joining. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. If you have, please smash the like button, leave me any comments, tips, tricks, recommendations, or death threats. Subscribe, share, and favorite, and we will talk with all of you again very, very soon.